and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schroff, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about, well, this is not me saying this, I lost Brad. Lost 10 pounds in four weeks without huge... Hunger pains. Without hunger pains. <laughs> that was huge pains. So can you. No fads, fasting, or calorie counting. That's right. That's quite a claim there, Brad. I'm excited about this one, Bob, because I know anybody can do this if I can do it. All right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And by George, this is the week you're going to want to go to our website, bobandbrad.com. Because we are doing a huge giveaway. Huge. Over a thousand people are going to win. Can you believe that, Brad? That is uh, amazing. Yeah, so go to bobbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We'll show you in a minute what we're giving away. Or go to Facebook, Bob and Brad. It'll be pinned at the top of the page. Mm -hmm. You want a short version of us, go to Twitter or Instagram. 60 seconds of Bob and Brad a day. First grand prize we're giving away is a sleep evasion mattress. This is only a small sample of it. Uh, we wanted to show you what it's, how it's made of little individual mattresses. It's got the little air channels there, so it's nice and cool. Most comfortable mattress Brad and I individually have ever slept on. Right. We've gone. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, it, also, they're giving away two pillows, two sleep evasion pillows. Same concept. They got springs inside, which you do not feel, but no. they provide great support. And they got the little air channels, and they got the little individual squares. That's what it looks like yeah. in the... In the hole. Third thing that we're giving away, that we're, we're giving a thousand of these away, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart, mm. but we think we figured it out how to do it. So we're going to send you. Oh, you got it upside down, down, Bob. We're going to send you 12 heart magnets. Yeah, stick it on, Brad. So what you can do with it, you can do whatever you want with them, but you could, you know, to a loved one, if you want to get love, you got to send love. Mm. And so <laughs> you can put these on a refrigerator. You can put them on a car. Right. Yeah. I put them on my garage door with my wife last year. Big heart when she closed the garage door. Yeah. Scored she, big. She, he scored big. So, but you can write little notes on there too saying, you know, I appreciate this about you. Brad, yep. I appreciate that you, I, you know, you allow me to cut you off all the time. So, so <laughs> yeah. anyway, we got to get to the yeah, video this, here, Yeah, Brad. we got to get to this weight loss thing so. because it's uh, it's huge. I should say small. Yeah, that's smaller. right. So yeah, I'm excited about this one, Bob, because 10 pounds in four weeks, I'm thinking that's a little aggressive. Uh, unless like, you're really overweight, which I wasn't, you know, obese, no, no, right. uh, but I thought I got to do it. I got to see if I can do it. So uh, I went ahead and, and actually I'm going to show you. Well, wait, 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 wait. Just relax, Bob. Well, I want to show. Just wait. Look at this. this right. These pants I, right. I used to wear. My wife bought them last year for me. I've been wearing them on videos for ever since yeah, last fall. Yeah, looks like fall. you got a couple extra yep, inches there yep, now. Yep, they're, they're a little big, but this is the coolest thing, Bob. I got to show everyone oh, this. God. Oh, thank God that you that's I'm not, something underneath there. I'm not kidding you, Bob. This pair of pants my wife bought me for Christmas, last Christmas. Sure. You know, a month ago or whatever. Yeah. And they were too small. And there are these new pants that are tight fitting. It's supposed to be like the modern day sure. thing. And you know, because I come on here. They look like they fit you great now. Yeah, I, they do. And I got this shirt which was always tight on me. It was a fitted shirt. Sure. You know, because we get on here, sometimes we get comments, and yeah, my wife well, says, you look like a couple of douchebags. Yeah, we did. So anyways, here we are. This is, this is, I feel uh, good hey, about this. congratulations, Brad. I weighed Job myself well this morning at the uh, YMCA, 169 pounds and 0.8. And you started at? 180. And I, I've got more to show so you on You dropped that. before. I mean, you, you were at one point the highest well, in your life. Well, January before. 1st, I was 183. But I, about no, five, no. six years ago in January, I, I t always roll around 200 pounds. But weren't you like 220 at one point? No. No, Bob. Oh. That was another That was another person. Okay. Right. I've never been 220. Well, let's start talking about Brad. What did you do? Well, that's a good question. So I approach this in just a common sense way uh, initially. And I, I, I even mentioned on the, the video that we did, we put it up January 7th of 2020 on how my start of doing this. Sure. So if you want to go back and look at that, you can do that. Um, but anyways, uh, it was a simple thing. First of all, no breads, no sugars, no junk food. Stop eating after supper. 
And yeah. I figured that's going to do it. It's going to take care of my problem. It, it, it's worked for, for me in the past, but never on a time schedule. Now, bread can be fine if it's whole wheat or whole grain. And, yeah. and it, you've got to look at the label, though. You've right. got to make sure you get the right stuff. So I just you got quit the right, it. It's, it's a lot easier just to stop breads for yeah. a while, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, and, and um, I only do that six days a week. So on Sundays, yeah. I, I loosen up you a little bit. You should have that cheat day. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, then I started exercising at the start. I've, I've always exercised five, yeah, six you, days a week. That really hasn't been a difference. Yeah, but I, be, I kind of stepped it up a little bit, got a Did little you? more, well, I'm just more organized. I, okay. I write it down every day now. Every okay, time I do something. Logging it. Logging it. So here's right. my log sheet for January. I put uh, the activities I do, I check it off and how much time. And then I put my weight. And I usually weigh myself twice a week and write it down. It varied, but I always kept a close track of weight. So I'm thinking you should weigh yourself at least twice a week. It's funny on that this, program. this is motivating, though, when you do oh, see a chart. Yep, I mean, it, yep. does, it does make you want to do it and yeah, right. want to keep up with it. And so. then I highly recommend getting a good book on diet or nutrition. So I started out by this one. It's called Food, What the Heck Should I Eat by Dr. Mark Wyman. I think it's an excellent book. It's just came out in 2018. A lot of research. It's all updated. Uh, it has some wonderful things uh, to say about diet. Well, I think, you know, there's a lot of great books there out are. there. And, and uh, you know, as long as you stay away from the fad diets. Yeah. You know, right. I think the more you educate yourself, the better you're going to become at losing weight or maintaining weight. Exactly. So, yeah. Like you said, there's a lot of books. I yeah. just happened to pick that one up at a bookstore. I looked at it. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm going to take it. I didn't really know Again, I, there's a lot to, that we could recommend. But now I got to show you. Last time I brought a chart out sure. four weeks ago on that video. Uh, here's my chart. Uh, by the way, uh, my body fat, I did do caliper sure. measurements. I started out at 24%. January 1st, February 1st, I went down wow. 4%. That's really so a lot. That's kind of nice. That is nice. Um, so we can forget about that. But here we got body weight. I started at 183 pounds at January 1st. That was a lot of water weight because that went down pretty quick down to 180. Sure. Um, and then here's one month, January 1st to January 31st. 31st. Yeah. Started out here. And you can see I'm losing weight, losing weight, losing weight. Within about two weeks, I hit 175 pounds. Doing just what I mentioned. Sure. Drop the, the breads, the carbs, all those things, like we had mentioned. And then you there was it? about five days, my weight's the same. During those five days, I'm cutting how much I eat. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting ornery. My wife is not happy because I'm not happy at home. Sure. When you're, not, when you're hungry, it's no fun. Yeah, that's not a way to – I don't want to diet when you're hungry right. to be you – know. You know, I was not counting – calories which would put more stress and i really would right. have been ordinary uh and my wife just said you got to start eating he says you're not losing weight because you're not eating and that's what they talked to her at where she goes and gets her workout in the burn sure. boot camp thing and it's like uh you know and so she gives me this book now this is 2013 it's by haley pomeroy uh she's a professional uh Dietitian? Dietitian. Or, or she, nutritionist, maybe? Nutritionist. She actually works with a lot of, in California, a lot of movie stars go to her. She names okay. them out and whatnot. Uh, she's got a, about 30 years of doing this. She's got a lot of experience. She's well uh, educated on it. And anyways, after reading this book, it's like, oh, things are coming together. I've got to start eating, but I've got to start eating the right things. I'm not going to go into detail, but it's the same thing. Whole foods, good sure. foods, yeah, and you have foods. to eat fats. You got to eat fats for your body to burn fat. I learned that, and that also came up in this book too. Yeah. The two books complement each gonna, other. That's gonna you're gonna realize you're gonna get comments about that. There's something that don't. Agree I don't with that. care. I'm telling <laughs> you because I start doing it. I'm yeah. just saying my experience yeah, yeah, with these you books. Say your opinion. Uh, my experience. Yeah. I start losing weight once I start eating five times a day. Sure. I'm never hungry. I eat in the morning within a half hour after I get up. And then halfway through between that and lunch, I eat again. I'm not pigging out, but I'm eating good foods. A lot of vegetables, a lot of protein, fish, See, meats. I don't disagree with that because I that's what I do too. I spread right. out my meals. Like yep. I, lunch, I have one thing and then like I eat a handful of yep. almonds like later. And sure. It works well for me too. Right. Morning, you and I both do this. We have like an apple. Right, you know, exactly. Mid morning, and, and so my weight came down. And this morning, uh, I was yesterday uh, one seventy point five pounds. I actually had a pretty big meal last night, but it was all vegetables. Uh, and then what was my meat again? Um, oh yeah, I had uh, 
um, shrimps. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, had a really nice meal. I was full. All right. And, and, uh, but I didn't eat again. And this morning, I came in a half pound. So, Overnight, I, I lost weight. So over here, you were hungry and still not losing weight. And then you actually, from here to here, you're not hungry. You're eating a lot and you're losing weight. Right, so. right. But you've got to eat the right foods. And for me, if I didn't have the books to keep me motivated, educated, and to steer me in the right directions, this would have been really Sure. My wife probably would have kicked me out. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyways, that I'm sure everybody's gonna give us their opinion. We appreciate it because there's gonna be people that are gonna I, say, and I might. One, yeah. Are you gonna be able to keep it off? You know, that's one of the things. Right. Be, well, as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go for another five pounds so I can get a six pack. I'm pretty close <laughs> to it now, and uh, I'm not gonna show anybody my belly, but maybe in a, in a month. I've got a three pack. So. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, I, I'm halfway there. I, I might even get a 12 pack. <laughs> so I want to finish up with some major rules that you have to keep sure. regardless. Uh, you know, there's all these keto diets and whatever right, the right. other ones. Uh, this is working for me and I, I'm happy with it. Uh, eat in the morning as soon as you get up. Within 30 minutes after you get up. Yeah, I like that. I agree with that too. And, and, and I know there's some will say not, but, but I agree with that one. I, I never used to eat in the morning. Yeah. Oh, and that I was never hungry. I'd eat just because well, I got to eat. It's kind of fun, but I wasn't really hungry. Sure. But now that I quit eating after supper, I'm you're, you're uh, hungry in the morning. I got about a ten or twelve hour fast. Sure. Be time when I, you know, so I'm I'm just hungry now when I get up and I'm happy to eat. Um, but I think that's a big thing to get and explained in a book why yeah. that happens, and then reading the books. Yeah. Whatever. I would start educating yourself because it makes yeah. a huge difference. Right. I mean, you'll look at food differently. Yeah, exactly. At, so, and then you'll start to see the patterns that develop. And you're you know, gonna find what to, fits you. Yeah, what, what fits fit, you. What, your personality type or your body type, right. and also you'll see some um, the same. Some people saying the same thing over and over right. again in different yeah, books. Yeah. So get some books, get yourself more educated if you have sure. already been. Um, and then thirdly is social support. Uh, when I started this, I got two of my friends involved. We text back and forth and uh, we say, how much do we know and what are you doing? It really helps when your spouse, if you're married, right. to, to really, or your partner, to, that really stays, uh, goes along with right. you because it's difficult yeah. if they're eating whatever they want. My wife has been supporting me, but she's not fully on the same diet like she'll start snacking on some sure. stuff in front of me at night <laughs> and she's she, she doesn't need to lose any weight so it's like i don't know how she does it but, but anyways um so that that was a little tough i didn't know we had ice cream in the house and i was able to say no wow. open the freezer up to get the meat out there's wow. that ice cream that wow. that was a big one uh, but you can do it if i can do it i mean i was an ice cream aholic at one time in my life when i was at that 200 i, know, I remember you telling me that <laughs> that was fun oh. Anyways, right. <laughs> take care yeah. and uh, lose some weight. Thanks.